Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome back to another review of the LEGO Disney Minifigures Series 3 Disney 100. Today, we will be taking a closer look at minifigure number 6, Dr. Facilier. Dr. Facilier is the main villain in Disney's 2009 animated classic, The Princess and the Frog. This smooth-talking voodoo witch doctor was commonly known as the Shadow Man. While his personal magical strength is limited, his friends on the other side made him extremely powerful. He came from a poor background and grew up to hate the rich. This jealousy led him to try and make himself the most powerful man in New Orleans by any means necessary. This was accomplished through dark magic and the manipulation of others. His charm even worked on movie-going audiences, and he quickly became popular enough to join the primary members of the famous Disney villains lineup. The original leg piece was designed specifically for this character. Across the top of his dark brown pants, we can see a red line used for his cummerbund. At the bottom, you will notice a white line with a curved bottom. This was used to create the spats worn on top of the shoes, a necessary fashion accessory when you're walking around the muddy streets of New Orleans in the 1920s. The torso was also an original piece created for this minifigure. His suit is continued on to this piece with his dark brown jacket. The lapel is folded over and shows us the black fabric on the inside of the jacket. Black lines were used on the back of the torso to create the seams, wrinkles, and half belt of the coat. I appreciate that the back of his blazer is starting to separate at the bottom because the front is open and exposes his midriff. Underneath the jacket, he has a lavender vest. This vest has wrinkles, uneven lines, and slightly opens at the top. It helps illustrate that even though this character wears the clothes of a proper gentleman, he is not. To highlight that he is a voodoo witch doctor, there are two animal claws being worn as a necklace. This character was extremely charismatic and animated, which makes it a shame that we were only able to get one face printing. Now, it's completely understandable because the use of a top hat instead of long hair to cover up the back made it necessary. The face that we do get is amazing. The long, wavy cheek lines help create his narrow face on the short, round minifigure head. Dimples were given on the sides of his large, devious smile. The thin mustache over his lip looks great. My only negative critique for this head printing is his teeth. Dr. Facilier has a gap between his front teeth. I think this printing makes it look more like he's missing a tooth rather than just having a space. Artistically speaking, he has many similar features to Jafar from Aladdin. This is very clear when looking at his long curved eyebrows. What I found interesting was the shadowing used around his eyes was not only present on the Jafar minifigure, but also Hades. Now I'm curious if this illustration technique of shading the eyes helps us see a character as more villainous. Or they like to wear eye makeup. The black top hat is the last piece used to create our minifigure and it's also unique to this set, making every part of this minifigure original. I absolutely love this piece. The smooth red band wrapped around the bottom adds some nice color and matches the cummerbund on the leg piece. I like that the skull and crossbones match the film and were not turned into minifigure style bones. I think this would have given it more of a pirate feel than a witch doctor because the pirate theme has been a huge and lasting part of Lego's history. Now, rather than giving us a separate feather piece to stick on his hat, a lavender feather pattern was printed onto the front. I think the separate piece would have looked better, but can see the physical challenges of creating the holes needed to attach the existing Lego plume feather in the correct position. For his accessory, he was given his cane and tarot cards. The cane was built using a 3L reddish brown bar, light bluish gray one by one round plate with open stud, and a translucent purple one by one round tile piece. This accessory was fine, but it didn't capture the crystal ball look of his cane in the film. It just alluded to it. Now I think a bulb piece would have worked better. In a perfect world, we would have seen a new piece created. I think a staff with a ball on top would be very versatile in the Lego world. 
The tarot card is fantastic. The black one by one tile with gold shapes and magenta background captured the look of the fortune telling cards in the film perfectly. Now, unlike the skull on his hat, I'm glad Lego turned the human hands with an eye on them into minifigure hands. Now, I just need 77 more of these pieces for a full deck of tarot cards. Is that excessive? Like all the minifigures from this series, his stand had Disney 100 printed in silver across the top. This is a nice touch for a theme that was on its third series of CMF characters. I am glad LEGO included this villain in the third round of Disney CMF characters. He was a great match for Tiana in this series, and at this point, he is the only Dr. Facilier character in minifigure form, and every piece used to create this minifigure was well detailed and unique. These parts individually can be handy in mock work, and I particularly like having that hat and tarot card for my collection. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.